because of the GPU shortages these days, it's very hard to find the GPU. So I was trying everywhere to find the GPU because I have a GT1030 in my PC, which is not very powerful, and I wanted to upgrade. So I was searching, and all of a sudden, I found this supposedly GT1050 Ti at Walmart at an incredible price. So it was only 93 Canadian dollars, which amounts to around 70 US dollars. Even though many YouTube videos say that these cars are fake, and also on many blogs they say they are fake, they even like dismount the card and show the inscription on the GPU chip, which is an inscription for another type of GPU completely, I wanted to try it for myself. Now, hopefully it will not break my PC. So let's go and install it in my Dell PC. Now that everything is installed, I am ready to turn on the computer for the first time after installing this graphic card. So I prepared the fire extinguisher and I stand really far from the computer and thankfully it turned on with no fire hazards. And as you see the fan is turning so the graphic card should be working. So let me see now if it is displaying anything on the screen. Nothing. Okay, let me do some troubleshooting. After I tried almost everything to make it work, I mean even the computer startup wasn't showing on the screen, so nothing, complete blank. I decided to install the drivers, knowing that this might be risky for my computer, so I backed up my computer entirely before, and I went ahead to install the drivers. To be able to install the drivers and see the screen, I connected my monitor to the built-in Ultra HD 630 Intel GPU of my PC. So to install the driver, the graphic card comes with a CD. I inserted the CD and here it is. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to simply copy the right driver, which is Windows 10 64 bit. And of course, I'm going to scan it with my updated antivirus software after it is copied, which is McAfee. So let me scan it and hopefully it is clean, so McAfee saw it as clean. So of course here I backed up my PC fully before. And I double click the driver and I do the installation. So I follow the default prompts to install the driver. Next, next on everything and then install. And here I accelerated the video of course. And here's the driver installed. So let me click on close. Let's go to device manager now and see the driver version. So under device manager, go to a display adapter, and this is a GE4 GTX 1050 Ti, supposedly properties, driver, and the version is from 2018. So let me turn off the PC now and switch the HDMI cable from the integrated Intel GPU to the graphics card. So this is the HDMI cable installed on the graphics card. Let me fire up the PC now and wait it's still not displaying the boot up of the dell which is a shame oh, but it displayed windows this is a good sign at least it displayed windows but you cannot go to the bios of the pc for instance because it's not displaying it so now that the card worked i'm gonna launch gpu z to see how it sees it 
and it sees it as a fake GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. It's a shame that Walmart sells cards like this, really. Like, this is hardware info, also. I'm launching it to see if I confirm what GPU Z so, and it also saw it as a fake GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. So, I'm gonna launch some games on it now. This is Minecraft. As you see, it's displaying only 30 frames per second. And oh my god, the graphics, they are going crazy, as you see. It's using only also like 500 megabytes of the memory, as you see, just under the GPU on the upper left. It's, it's unplayable, of course, like this. I'm gonna give it another chance, uh, restart the PC and restart Minecraft to see if it will work this time. So let's do this. So here I restarted the PC and I relaunched Minecraft. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully this time it will work. It's taking longer than usual to start. Giving it a little bit more time to start. Oh. Oh, it restarted the PC. So it crashed and restarted the PC. This is not normal at all. So I'm not gonna waste any more time on Minecraft. Let me try Fortnite now. So this is Epic Games Launcher. I'm gonna click on home to try to launch Fortnite. And this is Fortnite. And let's click up. And it reset the PC also. That's incredible. It's not working. It's not launching any game. So it's a complete garbage and a complete waste of money and time, this card. Even if I confirm that this card is fake and it cannot run any game, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna remove the cooler and see what is the inscription on the GPU chip. And the moment of truth is near. This is the last screw I'm removing now. Let me remove the cooler. And I'm gonna remove also the thermal paste from the chip. You can just scrub it, of course. And let's see the inscription. And as I see it, there are no inscriptions at all. So they removed the inscription. They only left the A1 at the end, as you see on the bottom right, and they removed all the inscription. And then I'm gonna say that I don't understand why big names like Walmart sell these cards. I understand that this is a third party selling on Walmart, but nevertheless, some quality check should be put in place to prevent the selling of these types of cards. If you fell prey to this kind of scam and you bought like a scam card or a fake card, please let me know in the comments below and let me know also what you did to get your money back. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.